Good afternoon and welcome to Windy Hill Kennel in Ohio. We are located in Utica, Ohio. And this is Dreamers Litter of Schnauzers. So let me move these fences so we don't keep looking over top of them. These guys are six weeks old today. I think it's today. And this is the first time they've seen this little tyke. So I'm anxious to see how they get along with it. Whoop, crash. Um, we have had so much fun with this toy. And we have one of our clients named Robin who brought it down to us from New York. And I am ever indebted to her for finding this for me. I looked for him everywhere and couldn't find it. And she found me one and picked it up and brought it with her when she came to get her puppy. Uh, so Allie did weights for you and microchip numbers. It's so nice to see a litter of schnauzers that I can see their collar colors on. Um, you can't ever see them on schnoodles, although I've had clients come in and say, can you cut it like a schnoodle or like a schnauzer? So I cut their schnoodles to look like a schnauzer. And they are cute. They really are. I used to do that a long time ago and cut the schnoodles like a schnauzer, but then everybody wanted them fuzzy. So, but these guys are easy to tell who is who. So 8229 is a blue merle and it has the light blue turquoise collar on right there in front of us and i actually think in the long run these are not going to be a blue and gray merle i think these are both going to turn they're not chocolates because their nose is black but i think they're going to turn exactly like their daddy and so they're almost a buff merle or um and that's the one that has the yin yang face over there also uh, 8230, um, did I give you, it weighs 4 pounds, 5.5, if I forgot. All right, 8231 is a, uh, another Merle, and that's the one right here. I think it's the purple collar, yep. And it looks chocolate, but it's not chocolate. So the reddish brown on the ears is going to get lighter. The coat is going to get lighter, but the Merling will still show. But um, it's an odd color Merle. I can't tell you, it's almost like a, a wheat and merle or a buff colored merle. It's not the original hard salt and pepper blue merle or the chocolate merle. It's kind of in between. It weighs five pounds, four ounces. It's a whopper. Uh, I think he's actually, no, there's one that's bigger. Uh, 8234 is the black and white. It's the party merle, uh, wait a minute. Oh, it's the black. It's the black, I'm sorry. It's the black one with the neon green collar. That's the Dreamer Mini Me. And she is four pounds, 14 ounces. Where'd she go? There, I got, got away from her. She's got the neon green collar. The next one out here is 8230. And it's the... <laughs> Party Merle, right there underneath me, I couldn't find it. That one has blue Merle on it. Its head's definitely got blue spots, the body's got blue spots, but the ears I think are gonna turn. I think they'll end up turning probably a salt and pepper or a buff, it's tough to tell, but he's got blue Merle on his butt back and right on both sides of his face. And he's got the red collar on. Uh, 8262 is the Merle Phantom. I'm trying to think who, oh, okay. She called this one a Merle Phantom, but it's actually salt and pepper. So the yellow colored puppy is gonna turn salt and pepper. Um, it's changing dramatically. And I think in the end, I think you're gonna end up salt and pepper, but it's so tough to tell. The ears are usually, if it's got brown ears, in the end, it turns salt and pepper. So I'll be anxious to see, but it is not a Merle. So I'm anxious to see if it does go ahead and turn salt and pepper. Um, these guys are getting their first puppy shots today, and we try and do it right on their six-week birthday, so today's the day, so we're going to pop them with a shot and give them their first regular puppy shot. They had a Neopar shot when they were four weeks old, but this will be their actual first puppy shot in their series of four. Um, they're doing great. Everybody is active, playful. We're going to take them away from Dreamer this week. Um, she's kind of had it with them and she's getting a little bit grumpy about it. So it is time to move the babies. There's that pretty face. Are you watching me? I know you little stinker. I'm trying to get some more faces when they come off there. 
Um, there's the the yin yang, but I don't know if I can get around here with see its face. Oh, I know, I hear you. You're noisy. Nope, you left. I was looking up at me barking. I was trying to get you a face picture. Um, so all of you have gotten your videos. You've gotten your vitamin information. You've gotten everything like that. The last thing I'm going to send you is your balance due information. I do not take credit cards here anymore. I still take credit cards, but you have to do it through our website. So um, that's going to either have to be done before you come or you'll have to do it when you're here. And um, it is a little confusing through the website. Also, there is a 4% fee for credit card or PayPal. But if you're doing PayPal, you can send it as friends and family, and there is no fee. But you have to look for that. It's a little bit tough to find, but it is on PayPal. And uh, otherwise, you're welcome to do Venmo or Zelle. There is no fee for Venmo or Zelle. But I'll send you all that information on an email. And uh, I just kind of want to pre-warn you about the no credit card machine here. I let it go when COVID started, and everybody that came... All during COVID either brought cash or did it on the internet before they came. That way we didn't have as much contact together. And um, it worked really good that way. But I went ahead and sent my machine back to the bank so I didn't have to keep paying for it every month. So I no longer do it here. So uh, the other thing is if you are going to use newspaper for your puppy and you come to pick up and you want more newspaper, I am sending you home with a pretty good probably 10 or 15 pounds in your sack but I have lots if you really would like enough newspaper to get you by for months just let me know I'll be glad to, to fix you up I have a ton of it and uh, more than I'll ever ever use in my lifetime so my husband would appreciate it if I get it out of here so um, it is new paper it's never been anywhere but at the plant when our newspaper went bankrupt I bought all their newspaper I walked in and said don't sell it to anybody else I'll buy it all so I'm covered until I retire <laughs> so uh, just let me know don't be shy and uh, believe me uh, you can have all you want um, but these guys are doing great they're gonna get their toenails done um, Allie gave them a bath today so they're nice and clean and fuzzy and pretty and ornery as ever and ready to they're ready to go home I'll tell you what Vanessa and I and Allie have <clears throat> I'm not doing this many puppies again people <laughs> not at one time it's been a job it's been fun but I'll tell you it has been a job and I have not been able to give as much time to everybody on the internet with photos and videos as I would like and I can't do it with this many puppies um, as you can tell I think we're a week and a half behind so we are going to cut down what we do this winter and next spring. Um, I'm going to skip some of the girls that had puppies this time. And um, we're actually thinking about retiring a couple of our girls that uh, we have at this time. Dreamer's one of them. We've debated it and debated it. and oh. But I'm going to do it. We're going to let her go. And uh, so she's going to be spayed and she's going to go to... Tri-State Rescue, we have always sent our dogs there. I love it because they follow them for about two years, and if you fill out their application and they choose you, you must pretty much walk on water because they are really fussy. And I don't have time to follow everybody after they leave here. Um, I would like to have them back if something doesn't work out with a family. I certainly don't want them to go to any place bad. They have had a great life here. We've loved having them, and they're such nice dogs that... I just want to make sure they go someplace and they can be somebody's lap baby and walk with somebody for the rest of their life and exercise the human. So uh, this will be Dreamer's last litter. We do, we do have a Dreamer daughter. She is on the uh, parents page. And her name is... Uh, we had River was the dad. She's... My mind is blank. River was her brother, and I did place her brother. We decided not to keep him. River, Meadow, Brooke. Good grief. Her name is Brooke. So if you look on the parents page, you'll see Brooke. She's out of Stryker. She's my last Stryker daughter, and she is every bit as big as Dreamer. She weighs a solid 29 pounds. Um, we will have puppies out of, of uh, Brooke in the spring. 
River we did not keep. Um, after growing him out for eight months, I did not, this one's sliding down on his belly. I did not like his bite and I did not want to breed that in my dog. So as much as I hated to do it, we had him neutered and we placed him at a pet home. But um, I'm really fussy about our dogs and if it's not a, a nice quality and it's not, I just don't want a bad bite in dogs. And he may not have ever thrown it, but I sure didn't want to find out. This guy just sits and watches. He says, what are you doing? Oh, that was a mistake. Everybody's gonna come over here and cry now. Yep, here we come. Um, so if you have any questions, if you have not booked in for puppy pickup, please do so. Um, I have so many days filled up the week of the 11th through the 16th. I have absolutely, I think I might have, I do have a lady that's switching to pick up. So uh, that will help my day. I'll have one more space available. But other than that, we are full every single day of the week. It's just crazy. So make sure you book in early or you may not get the day you really need to get. But uh, Anyway, if you have not gotten all your info from me, um, I have not sent out your balance due sheets yet. I don't expect you to do it now. I just want you to know what it is before you come. That way, um, if there's an issue with a charge card or something, you've got time to do it on your end before you get here. Um, or if you want to bring cash, you're more than welcome to bring cash. Um, I'm not going to turn my nose away at cash. So I hope you have a great week. I hope you've enjoyed seeing these little stinkers. They're doing really good. Coats are awesome. They're fat little chunkers. Are you watching again? I know. Everybody's watching. Psst, psst, look up here. Hey, look up here. What are you eating? Junk? Oh, you're chewing on the bar. I'm just trying to get some face pictures in here of everybody. Hey. You're not paying any attention. No, nope, you're not paying any attention. Nope. No, nope, but we're going to come over here and cry. Here, can you give me a face picture? You guys are awful. You won't do it when I want you to. No, you won't do it when I want you to. What are you doing? What are you doing? All right, I'm going to get out of here. You guys have a great week, a blessed weekend, and we'll talk to you later.